Today, we're looking at the Commuter Backpack by Lander. I'll give an overview of the bag, including some likes and dislikes after a few months of use, and show why this bag put Lander's name on the map. Before I jump into the review, I want to set the stage a little bit. If you watch the channel, you know I'm very particular about bags, and I research them a lot to find the right one. This pack is so well designed that it's probably the closest to perfect for me at its size. But what's impressive is how under the radar Lander is. They only sell two bags, each one in just one color. In all the top bag lists I've seen, I haven't seen Lander's name mentioned once. Whereas I always see the usual suspects, Peak Design, Air, Nomadic, Tortuga, GORUCK, etc. In short, this bag had no business being as good as it is, and it deserves much more shine. So let's get into it. Here are some specs from the website. The commuter backpack is 25 liters and is designed as a tech meets outdoor daily use pack. Starting with the back, we have a mesh back panel that allows airflow and shoulder straps with a mix of their coated Cordura Ecomade and mesh with a reflective logo. The straps are padded and have daisy chains on both sides that are used to house the removable chest strap. The chest strap is a mixed bag for me. On one hand, the metal hardware looks nicer than your average chest strap, and with its traditional buckle, it's more functional than fancy straps like Peak Design's metal latch system. However, I think Lander made the metal anchors slightly too short because if you pull them at the right angle, they could pop out. And also, I noticed that when you have the chest strap on, it tends to pull the straps inwards so that they no longer lay flat against your body. It's a minor inconvenience, but overall, they work fine. On the side, you'll see two small zip pockets. The entire bag uses YKK zippers and features sealed zippers, which is one of my favorite features that I'll talk about a little later. Both extend about six inches into the bag and both are fleece lined. And the top pocket has access to the laptop pocket through a small hole that Lander calls the hot route. I'll talk about that later as well. These pockets are great for portable chargers, cables, phones, and especially passports. Turning the bag over, we have two grab handles up top. The large loop handle is close to the straps, and I always appreciate this placement because it makes it easier to hang on the hooks in an airport. Too often, companies will put the handle in the middle of the bag, which sometimes makes the bag slip off the bathroom hook and onto the floor. And trust me, there's nothing worse than a dirty airport bathroom. The second handle is here, and it's a bit more subtle and a gray color that matches the accent straps. This strap is useful for maneuvering the bag, but also it folds flat to go unnoticed if you don't use it. As I said before, all zipper openings are sealed, making them water resistant and great to look at. I don't know, there's just something about the sealed zippers that makes the bag look much more premium. The material is Lander's custom Cordura Ecomade, and it's a grayish green color with DWR coating, and it feels thick and high quality. In a world where 90% of the travel bags are black, I appreciate Lander choosing this unique color. It really represents the tech meets outdoor description that the bag strives to be. The greenish color and the straps are elements that remind me of an outdoor pack, while the sealed zippers and grayish tone suggest a more everyday tech bag. A good way to describe the color is that in darker lighting, the bag looks more gray, but in bright sunlight, you can definitely see the greener hue. All the zipper pulls are reflective, as is the lander patch on the front. Now this patch can carry a bike light, but is also reinforced to be load-bearing. If you look closely, you can see where the structure of the patch is, so you can clip carabiners onto this, no problem. Moving to the side, we have two bottle pockets. They aren't as deep as I'd like, but having the straps to secure the bottle makes up for it. And also, they fold flat against the bag if you don't need them. And lastly, the two straps at the bottom can be used to secure shoes, a towel, jackets, etc. The reason I admire Lander's design on this bag so much is because they included so many useful features and purposeful design, and yet they're subtle and almost hidden if you aren't looking. As a user, it feels like Lander isn't throwing the innovation in my face, but rather giving me the option to use the features. For example, the chest strap is removable if you don't want it, the small pockets are there but hidden, 
The second handle is there but lays flat. The patch is reinforced but doesn't look reinforced. The bottle pockets fold flat if you don't need them. And the bottom straps are there if you need it, but also look fine just as a design element if you don't need it. This pack can be as easy and simple to use as a typical school backpack, or can be packed out with carabiners and dual water bottles and all the straps ready for a real outdoor adventure. The choice is left to the user. Moving to the pockets, we have one main pocket which has a little bit of volume and three internal organization pockets. I like that the fabric has reinforcement at the top to give the opening some structure. Moving up, there is a fleece lined stash pocket that can fit earbuds, keys, wallets, or sunglasses. For me, a good stash pocket is a must. The main pocket is one large opening with a small sleeve for documents or a hydration bladder. Nothing special. And lastly, we come to arguably the best feature of the commuter backpack, the laptop sleeve, which Lander calls the crash pad. This beast of a pocket is fleece lined, water resistant with the sealed zippers, and has a false bottom to protect from drops. And it's padded on both sides to be almost two inches thick. I mean, this thing is a tank. I have never seen a backpack I would trust more with my laptop than this commuter backpack. It's really hard to describe how thick and protective this feels. This compartment fits up to a 15 inch laptop. And lastly, this crash pad also has a hot route, which is really just a hole that connects the crash pad with the hidden pocket on the back. The idea is that you can have a battery pack in the small pocket and be charging your laptop in the crash pad. Personally, I don't see myself using it too much, but again, it's there if you need it and out of the way if you don't. This pack retails for 150 US dollars, but first time customers can get 20% off, which makes this bag a great deal for how much it offers. It's a feature rich pack that looks good and is designed even better. And if you want to protect your laptop, I can't think of a better backpack. Kudos to Lander for the incredible design, and hopefully this video helps spread the word a little bit more. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video, comment below if you want a response, and subscribe for more everyday gear reviews. Thanks.